still really popular and playing very well. Five bucks. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum. Five bucks. That was so Mafia. Sweet. <laughs> five bucks. I mean, who knows how long those sales are going to go on, but they're going to go on. Um, right now, this weekend, they have the Easter egg hunt. Uh, they are releasing codes that last a half hour. And they're getting you seventy five percent games, seventy five percent off on games. So you can, um, and that was one of the things I was thinking. Um, and I, I didn't read too much about it. So each um, each time they tweet a new uh, promo code, you can use that, right? So like, I can't say like I use one promo code and I'm done for the whole weekend. I can use every code is different. See, that's crazy. So I mean, you basically could get because I mean, they've been releasing a lot, like maybe like three to five or six a day. Um, yeah, I, I don't remember how what the the number is, but I mean, you could essentially go through and and almost get like all of the AAA games on the service for seventy five percent off, and that's Definitely. that's insane, especially for Homefront, a game that came out what you know a month ago or whatever. Yeah, and it's still you know forty, fifty, sixty bucks at at most places, and you can get it for you know on on live for like twelve or whatever that right. would end up being. And they, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, it's 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 not even a, uh, a used game either. I mean, you know, it's streaming, so you don't have to worry about a, a broken disc or anything. But I mean, mm-hmm. you know, these are yeah, you know, these are really nice, uh, you know, used game prices that they're doing mm-hmm. with a lot of these deals. Definitely. Yeah. And here's another cool thing. I mean, they've got that. Uh, obviously, they had the achievement weekend where they dropped down those five games in price so that you would buy them, so you would play the achievements, uh, or so that you'd play to get the achievements. That was nice. During most holidays, even St. Patrick's Day of all days, <laughs> they had they had massive deals on mm-hmm. stuff. I remember I got a couple things on actually on St. Patrick's Day, I got I had a coupon I think or something or no actually no it wasn't a coupon it was just on sale. I got Dirt Two for like two or three dollars and seventy five cents. It was Dirt Cheap. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I just dirt got cheap it for that price. <laughs> It's just like, I mean, how can you say no? Uh, for Homefront, with their pre-order bonus, uh, oh, yeah. you got a copy of uh, Metro 23. That was 33. so sweet. That, yeah. that and was insane. And, and you got a micro console. Yeah. All you had to do is pay 10 or 20 bucks, depending on your shipping. Yeah, yeah that it's was It's kind of like getting two free games for a, a console at half the price. Right. That was, that was a nice deal. Ultimately, basically what I paid is like maybe... Sixteen fifty, sixteen seventy five, for all three of those things. Right. So home front six hours. Do I care? No, I spent sixteen bucks mm-hmm. on it. Yeah. Uh, and one good thing too is, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, uh, you know the games that you buy because this is one thing that people are, you know, they have an issue with. Uh, the games that you buy when they're released, they are guaranteed to be available to you for at least three years. Right. Mm-hmm. So you know you're looking at three years, and if they for some reason disappear, you will be given back a pro. You will be given a prorated discount mm-hmm. uh, or a refund. Oh, that's reassuring for me. It's like if you're going to be getting that. I mean, first of all, three years is a long time to sit on a game. Granted, I've done it a couple times. <laughs> um, you know, three years for a lot of these games on the play pack, mm-hmm. it, or, or not play pack, but the, on the service. Right. You know, big deal. You know what I mean? You're going to play the game. You're going to beat it. Not yeah. everyone has a, the extensive library I have. And, uh, you know, you're going to play through that game. You're going to be done with it. Uh, mm-hmm. Will you ever go back to it? Probably not. But that's a good. That's another good reason for all these uh, sales. OnLive knows how to take care of the customer, and they have since done it, uh, at least up until this point. You know, futures, whatever. But I don't think OnLive is going to change how they act. Yeah, and and we've been talking about how on live you know is is to the customer and you know us as the, as the users and how good it is. Um, one of the interesting things that you know I would just sat there and started thinking about. Um, you hear like developers and publishers talk about how much the used game market takes away from the revenue and how much it hurts them. You know how much GameStop is is putting a dent in the industry and how it's bad for the industry. Well, when you really think about on live, there there can be no you know secondhand market. You know it's basically mm-hmm. there. You know, they're like what I think would be a publisher's like wet dream because they don't have to worry about um, a secondhand market, like people trading their games in and getting them, you know, at much cheaper. They're always going to be getting a cut of each game that's being sold. So yeah, even you know, if it's a dollar, right? They're always going to be getting <laughs> yeah. some money from it. Um, so you know, it's just I think it's just going to you know take. Um, you know, publishers just believing in the service itself, like, okay, yes, it does work, and, you know, this is going to be really good. And then after that happens, I think 
everyone's going to jump on board and they're going to be like, you know, this, you know, we, we're going to be able to make a ton of money um, with this service because we don't have to worry about uh, that second hand market eating up, uh, you know, our, our profits and, right. and taking away from that uh, brand new game that's sitting on yeah. the store shelf. Definitely. And one thing, too, is, you know, you look at, uh, you know, you, one of the problems that people had was they were saying, well, if I'm going to be getting a game on a streaming service, I don't want to be spending $50 for a $50 game. Because remember, we're dealing with PC prices. We're not dealing with console prices. Right. Uh, so you're looking at, you know, Homefront was 50 bucks. Uh, uh, Assassin's Creed was 50 bucks on PC. Mm-hmm. Um, they're 50 bucks on on. Um, on on live as well. However, the thing about the PC games and on live is the fact that you have so many of these sales. If you don't want to spend that fifty bucks, just wait a month or two. Yeah. I mean, unless you're one yeah. of those people who need to be on the brand new game all the time. Mm-hmm. I mean, just wait. You're gonna get it for twenty bucks. You're gonna get it. You know, who knows? It might they'll drop it on sale. Yeah. You might see it on a five buck Friday. It's you know everyone complained because I don't have any packaging I don't have this I don't have that well here's your answer you right. know. yeah I still kind of want the packaging with Homefront I, I think I'm still gonna buy an Xbox version you know later on but one thing I really loved about On Live though um, is that when I when when I, when I had the game pre-ordered it um it became available about I think. You know, f- four five hours before it was actually released, before nine the o- actual midnight launch. Yeah, nine and, o'clock over here. Yeah, and you know that was just great. I mean, I could just you know jump into the game right away before GameStop would get it. <laughs> yeah. And um and I and I, I was one of the guys that also uh also pre-ordered Marvel vs. Capcom three. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so and I... uh, yeah, and it took took them about, about an extra extra week just to send it. So you know, I, I had to yeah. wait an extra time just to play the game and I pre-ordered it ahead of time too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And that's, you know, how I feel. I'm a big I, I love to collect. I mean it's not lie. I've got the little big planet two collector's edition. I've got the God of War collector's edition. You know, I've got tons of collector's editions that I probably don't need, which nobody really does need them anyways. <laughs> um and then it's just like, you know, I've got all these collector's editions and they're all really cool to have. But at the same time, I look at it and it's like, okay, if I want to play a game and it's at nighttime and I'm tired. Okay, I got to get up. You know, I got to get out of my bed. The good thing about on live is, let's be honest, it is the ultimate lazy man's console. Right. You buy your games, boom, there you are. Say you start to play Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, right? You start playing it. Okay, I'm done. I want to go play Fishdom too. I don't know why <laughs> you would want to, but it's an idea, and I've done it. And then all you have to do is hit the guide button on your controller or, or uh, you know, Alt-O to bring up the menu. You don't even have to leave the game. You just go to your quick launch, scroll down there till you find the game you want. Boom, give it three seconds, you're out of one game in another. Yeah. And I didn't have to get up so I could be as lazy as I want to be. <laughs> With online online gaming, sometimes if you, if you find the current matches that are going on just aren't doing too well to you, you can just jump straight into one of your other games real quick and you know just come back later yeah, you... all through the quick launch and it takes about I think about um about less than a minute I know I haven't counted it yet I mean, it's, it's even less than 30 seconds actually yeah, which makes less it than better. Windows takes a start up yeah definitely and it's yeah. <laughs> honestly as much as I like Steam like I have to time, exit sorry. the game and then I gotta get back into the game you know, and that's like here's four minutes later when I could just be in and out of something else. So, yeah, definitely <laughs> worth it. I suggest jump back and forth. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, yeah, I I think uh, we're going on like uh, almost an hour and a half. Um, I, I think that huh. pretty much wraps it up for this week. Um, this is our first one. episode. I think I'm I'm pretty happy. Episode number one. <laughs> <laughs> first one always lasts the longest, doesn't it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> It's always that uh, awkwardness, but um, yeah, we're gonna um, have the, uh, the the podcast. It's gonna be up on iTunes, so uh, you know, um, hopefully, you guys will subscribe to it, and you know, we're gonna have it. Uh, you know, we're recording this on uh, over the weekend, but uh, we're gonna have it uh, ready to go um, at the latest uh, sometime on Monday um, each week, so you can look forward to uh, starting a week off with the onlivefans dot com podcast. So. Um, Definitely be sure to check us out if you haven't been there yet. 
Uh, self-explanatory, onlinefans.com. We are the biggest community when it comes to members and uh, general users of OnLive. So definitely come check us out. Uh, it's a good, fun time to be had. Definitely. All right, guys. I will see you next week. Hear the closing music? <laughs> Take it easy. I don't hear it. I got to make some. <laughs> <laughs> I could sing one.